All right, so we have a weather station app. It's functioning on our local machine, but it doesn't look very good. So before we upload it anywhere to be seen by the public, I would like to add some sort of uh, HTML5 template or something like that. So I found this site and just Googled HTML5 templates and I found a bunch of templates and I found one here that looks pretty good. And we can basically, I just want to steal this first section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this template to my computer and I'm going to open that up. All right, let's just get rid of these and I'm going to extract that to my computer. And this is basically the blank template here. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to view the source of this and I want to steal everything from here down to here so I can get this column here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this sample index up in notepad here and I'm going to look and see what the code looks like for the first section. So this is just a head. This is importing some scripts here, some CSS uh, style sheets, and then Here's the header section that looks like the piece that I want. And then the rest are optional. So if you'd rather have like the second, first or second or third section, whichever piece of that template that you like the most, that you like to steal or borrow, I guess, you can, you can copy any of these that you want. So whichever one you like, you can go with. I'm just going to take this first one because it looks pretty cool. And at the end of this file, there's some other scripts at the bottom that we need to load up to. So let's go ahead and try that out. So we'll take the head and we'll copy that. Actually, we'll copy this stuff. We don't need the title. We already have one. And we'll paste that in. Get rid of that duplicate. All right, so that gets us the first part. And then we have this header section that I want all of that because it's pretty good. And that's going to go in right after the body tag. And I want to move this header here up to the header here so I can get rid of that. And I want to get rid of the, Let's see, I want to get rid of this button because I don't need that and I don't want this text. I want to replace that with the text that I have. So I'm going to go in and take this list here and I'm going to replace the, let's see, maybe I'll place it inside the footer. I don't even know. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to try to get this tabbed out properly. Okay. I don't need that. So get rid of that. And I might be able to put all this into the header. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. That's the thing. It's a little bit of trial and error. Uh, we'll see. And I'll also move this image up here. Because I don't really need uh, an image down here in my list. So... I kind of would like to move the sun up here next to where the weather station word is. So that's good. And then let's go down and take our final set of scripts here. They go in right before the end of the body, paste those in. And that should be just about it. So in order to tell Django where these files are located, you notice if I, uh, these are kind of all highlighted because they don't, they're not found. Okay, these, it can't find these files and that's a bit of a problem. So we can fix that by going into the static files under settings.py and you want to add this chunk of code in right here, exactly the way that you see it right here. And then you want to go into your 
Let's get rid of that. You want to go into your weather app folder or the root folder for your project and create a new folder called static. Static is the folder where you serve up all your stuff. Okay, so everything that you need to go into your website needs to go in here. So we'll go to our downloads again and we'll take the images and the assets and we'll copy those and we'll paste them into the static folder. And that's like, you know, CSS, JavaScript, fonts, and then some of the sample images that came along with the theme. So that should be good enough to resolve some of these issues that we're having here, but we're not done yet. So we've pointed the uh, Django to where the files are located and we've told it how to serve them up in the URL to append it to the URL. So then we need to add some more stuff to our template. So this isn't a literal location, okay? There's a there's like a bunch of the my users, my name, Python projects, weather app. There's a bunch that comes before this. So this is not a valid location for a file. But what I can do is if I go here and I import in the little um, kind of trick here. Let's go here and we do what's called load static. So I'm going to go and do a bracket and a percent, or excuse me, bracket and a percent sign. Yeah, and I'm going to do load static files. And this loads the static files basically from here over into here so that I can refer to them directly. And the way that you do that is you go to where any file is listed here. And right before you start naming the file, you put in a the same thing, so a bracket and a percent sign. And you put in static. And that's pretty much it on that one. And Let's get rid of that. Okay, and then you go to the end and you put in the ending part of that, which is the same thing here. And that will kind of fix you up. And then we'll need a another parenthesis, or excuse me, quotation mark there. And we'll need uh, another quotation mark here. There we go. So that should solve that problem. So essentially the source is now the static shortcut and then the rest of that. So this points it to the folder where the static files are and these are the subfolders and the files there. So we need to go in and essentially duplicate this across any place that we see any sort of file listed. So copy from the quotation mark over to the space and start pasting that in everywhere you see a file. So right after the equals and let's see here. There's some more. So be careful not to miss any of these or they won't load up. And then we go back and we get the last part of that and we can go back in and just start pasting. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, what? Put that in the wrong place. So let's not do that. It's going to go here. There we go. And there. And that should fix those. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So let's save that and go back to our page and refresh it. Oh, there we go. Looking pretty good. So not like 
the sweetest theme in the world, but pretty good compared to what we had. The fonts are respectable and there's a nice little color gradient in the back and we've moved our little sunny icon up here and we can go in and if we want just for fun go to our worker file here and run this and refresh and there we go there's some more current uh, information there so it's 63 degrees and sunny out in california and that's it for the local development. We've actually completed everything that we need to do. We're writing to the database. We've, we've got it serving up a beautiful site. All that's left to do, and the next step is pretty big, but we gotta get this uploaded somewhere. And that'll be the final video before this is available to the public and you will be all set.